Good day guys, Ben here. Today uh, we're going to model these windows. Okay, so um, from this image you can see um, there's no pattern. So we're going to just uh, manually place all these windows. Okay, so let's start. Uh, first, oh, actually, um, let's create a, a project. And I'm going to model two floor. So one here. So let's go to 3D view. So this is a floor on ground floor. So I'm going to control C and I go under modify and I'll align to level one. Okay, so now we have two floors. Okay, so two floors. Now I'm going to create a model in place, a mass. Okay. And then let's use a reference line and draw on face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some a spline through points. Okay, spline through points, draw on face, and then I'm just going to pick uh, this edge. So I'll roughly place some point along this edge and escape and start a new one so one so roughly so place the points along this edge okay so escape escape so now we have two reference lines and also we will need a, a, another one in the middle so i'm going to just go to the elevation not elevation elevation view of this 3d view so copy it down roughly in the middle okay so now i'm going to just select some or maybe just go to the side view again select this one I'll just use my keyboard to move them roughly there okay so go to the other side so click on this and then let's just move this point out a little bit okay so now we have these three reference lines you can select all of them create form and if I change to shape SD, you will see roughly we get this shape. Okay, so maybe this one needs to go out a little bit. You can always adjust them, the points anytime. So now I'm going to select this um, mass, the, uh, the face, and use divided surface. And then go here. So I'm going to use um, maximum spacing. Oh, sorry, maximum spacing, maximum spacing. Roughly, um, I'm not sure. I'll use maybe 500 by 500. So this is um, this is not a pattern on the window, but for we're going to get all the nodes. Okay, so select this divided surface and go here and check the nodes. So now we have all these nodes. We can place these windows manually uh, on those nodes okay so now we need to create a new adaptive family so go create a family generic model adaptive so first place a three points one two three select them make adaptive select two of them create spline two of them spline two of them spline and then select uh, all of them and make them reference sign. So now place one point, draw on face, draw on one of the reference line. So go reference rectangle, draw on work plan, set work plan, pick this work plan, and we can create a profile of this uh, frame. So um, I'm going to just do some dimension dimension here. So reference line to the point, reference line to the point, reference line to the point. Now I'm going to create a parameter for this one. So I'm going so this will be the depth of the emollient. So I'm going to call it maybe W1. Okay, so um, uh, instance or or maybe type type. So this because this will be half of the depth of the mullion so i think 
maybe uh, let's make it 75. I'm not sure how uh, how um, how thick or how um, what should I call this uh, need to be, but the wide of the mullion. Um, I uh, don't know, maybe let's make it 100 and uh, let's make it 150 by uh, 50, is that okay? So if yeah, if that's 50 wide, let's just create another one, W2 instance, oh, oh sorry, no, slow down, slow down. So select them, make it type, so you can you can use this to change the type, uh, change from type to instance or from instance to type. Okay, you don't need to go there. You can go here and uh, select them, edit, but it's easier to do it this way. So go check. So it will be instance parameter and uncheck this one, then they will become type parameter. Okay, so now I'm going to go to family types, change this to 50. So, oh, sorry, 25. So now the mullion is 50 by uh, 150. Okay, so now select this profile and also select one uh, these three reference line, create form. So this will be the frame of the window. And also I'm going to H, H, uh, and then I'll select the reference lines create a form so I'm just going to create a face okay so uh, because uh, you can you can make it, it a solid with a thickness but I prefer for you know schematic design just uh, a face should be enough okay and also you can just type in uh, oh usually just type in glass and also because currently it's a generic model okay so if we go uh, select an uh, element and go to subcategories there's nothing here so if we uh, for this one for this exercise because they are window actually they are windows or couldn't panel so let's say they are windows so we can go here family type or category and parameter and we can change the type of family, change type of this family, so for example, to window. So now, if I click OK, and if I select an uh, element, so for example, this glass panel, so go to subcategory, so we have this subcategory we can choose from, so we can use glass. So this will be good if you um, so when you load this into the project, so all the the, pro, uh, the what's that project projection lines and all the cut lines, all the line weight of those lines will be correct, will will match all the other windows. Okay, so it's very important to set the subcategory. So let's just HR to show the frame. So. I'm going to select this frame and change the subcategory to frame modeling. Okay. Okay. So now we can load this into the mass. Okay. So let's go to 3D view. So we can place this uh, window. So for example, I'm going to just uh, let's roughly place some windows. So maybe from this point, uh, maybe here to here. And also because the the frame, because currently see there's a frame there, it's very hard to pick the point. So once you place one panel down, it's very hard to pick that node again. So what I'm going to do is you can go to this family, select the frame, uncheck this visible. Okay, uncheck the visible. So which means if you load this into the project you won't see the frame but you will see the glass where's the glass oh, okay so this happens because every time because currently you are still in the model in place mass and every time when you load a family back into the model in place and it will 
disappear. So what you need to do is you just need to, to click on save and cancel. So now it will come out. So now we can continue. Let's try CS. Oh no, you can't do CS. Sorry. So go create component. So now we can continue uh, to place all the panels. So for example, I'll just do it. So see, now it's easier to place the point. Okay. So I'll just quickly place some panels. One, two, maybe here, maybe here. So it depends. Uh, it's all. You can you can um, create a smaller one. Maybe you can create a big one. It's all up to you. Okay. So so for example, we can create some small one. We can create a slightly bigger one. Small one. Maybe bigger one. And uh, you can also Oops, so this one look, looks like this one's not, not right. Oh, that's okay, you can do this. So tab, select this point and pick new host. You can place it back, okay? So let's continue. Create component here, here, here. One, two, three, one. Um, where's that? Ah. Um, let's try WF. Yeah, that's that's better. So I'll delete this one. Create component. So one, two, three. 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 One, two. Okay, so I'll place. Uh, I think I'll stop here. Let's change it to shade SD, so you will see all the last panels. Okay, so maybe I'll just place a little, some more around this corner. Two, three, one, and two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. It's actually quite easy, so um, unless you have a huge building, <laughs> but I think it's quite fun to. And also, if you don't like, you can just delete them and uh, just place, place, uh, place. Oops, place again. So this one's not right. So you can pick this point, pick new host, and pick that node. Okay, continue. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, uh, WF, relate, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so now let's change it to shade SD. Now we need to uh, um, turn on the, the frame. So we just go back here, select the frame, check this visible, load this back, overwrite. Okay, so save and cancel. Now that's it. Okay, so um, yeah, you will notice that oh, it's terrible here, but uh, it's for just it's okay just zoom out though yeah so see now it looks better and also uh, if you click finish mass and then you can go site and click on this one it will sh uh, hide all the, the grids okay so that that's it um, quite easy and also click on this to show the node, show all the um, the grid, and you can edit uh, in place. So in case you want to change the shape, so uh, you don't need to re uh, place the window again. You can just so for example, I'll just move this 
out and you will see all the window will follow this shape okay um, what's, what's happening here oh yes because we use um, we use max maximum spacing so when we uh, when we change the so uh, change the shape of this so the the number of these uh, grids chain changed so which means so previously this node is on the edge now it's coming down here so what we can do is let's control Z go back and before we change the shape we can just so select this grid so instead of using maximum spacing so you, you can just use a fixed number okay so if you use fixed number so so and then if you and then you can just change let's change the shape so if I'm gonna change this shape again so and then see they will stay where they they were okay so oh, that's crazy um, let's just move this back oh it's quite quite nice um, let's okay yeah so so that's it I'll finish mass have a look in um, um, go the top of the, the grid have a look okay so that's it so of course see these you just need to um, I'll just quickly show you so you just need to uh, so we probably oh hang on let me just use hi oh no 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 control z we need to show the reference line okay so together with this so so select reference line and control select the divided surface and use ic isolate category so now we can see this reference line here oh uh, hang on so we also need to select the point sorry control z so select this point select this reference line so control select and then select this divided surface i c and then what we need to do is go so see this reference line all these points um, is a bit off that floor so what you can do is we can just move this closer trying to uh, so closer to this corner so I think yeah you can also increase the number of the points so uh, I'll see if I can just place another point here so place a point draw a face click, click it on this face and select this point select this point see can we make it host uh, we can't we can't um, uh, anyway maybe you sh you should when you first place this reference line you should place a little bit more points along this edge okay so let's sh sh HR and okay so I think that's that's it um, if you have any question please let me know um, I'll see you next time. Bye.